What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Behind me we have the F-13 drift car, and as you can see, we are tearing into it. I know this is kind of weird and awkward, you know, maybe for you, trying to figure out why, what are you doing? It was drivable, it was a daily driver. So it was fun driving this car on the street. That was a fun experience to say, but I ended up not getting it uh, fully roadworthy and kind of narrowing our plans and our path of what this car was built and made for which is drifting and competition so I want to see it get there so we're going to be pulling this drivetrain out and we'll be putting it actually into another vehicle which you have not yet seen on the channel it's gonna be awesome we're gonna be resurrecting something that I've always wanted and uh, just a hint this drivetrain will fit perfectly in it so be sure to hit the subscribe button it's going to be in another video so be sure to check out the channel check out the videos and keep up to date uh, by hitting that subscribe hit the little notification you'll see when that video comes out it'll be soon uh, we're going to be getting into this pretty far and then we'll be revealing that other project but as of now we're going to be pulling the stock ka the trans and motor out of here um, right now I have the wiring harness done, the intake, so there's just the bottom stuff to do, wiring, drive shaft, fluids, stuff like that. But all in all, it's not a lot to get this motor out. I'm super excited. We will be putting another K in it, but it's going to be fully built. It's going to be half of the original, so the, basically the top end of the original motor I had. Um, and then it'll be an all new bottom end, machined, new parts everything for the bottom end so we'll be looking at probably 350 hopefully 400 horsepower but um, I've definitely learned some things on the swap learned some things on the turbo ka so we'll probably dial that back at the very beginning run low boost and just get the car working nice and smooth I want to get more gauges get the wiring a little bit more refined so it's kind of a whole remake on this car for the 2021 season. So I'm super excited. We're going to be going front to back on this car, get it competition ready, uh, hopefully get it pro-am ready. I know there's some new rules and guidelines, so really want to see this car be able to compete in a pro-am level and hopefully be able to maybe make it out and run um, some of the Clutch Kickers events next year. So as of for this car and what we're about to do, is it's gonna get a makeover. And I am absolutely thrilled. I've been wanting to do this with the car. It's had some, uh, have some lifespans just sitting, ha or has some time, you know, just sitting and I hate to see that. So we're gonna get it remade. Enough of me talking. I know you're tired of hearing it. So let's yank this thing. Everything on the car is disconnected and so every everything involving the drivetrain on the car is disconnected I went ahead and went underneath I didn't bring y'all along because it was dark and just trying to get it done unfortunately this is compiled of three days of me working on the car there's been a lot of things going on um, but each day kept chipping away at it given an hour two hours, three hours that I could. So um, if you're dealing with something, if you have something that you're trying to get done, instead of being discouraged, just pushing it to the side, just give whatever time you can give. That's my encouragement to you in this video that uh, whether it be, you know, yard work to relationships to anything, just give what you can give and take that time with respect to yourself and re with respect to the time of the other person or other thing and just do what you can whether that is 30 minutes here 15 minutes there you're never going to get anywhere unless you start with what you have and what you can do now so in this case it's been two weeks 
Um, I have been able to be up here three days, and uh, two of those days has been just an hour to two hours. And as I jump straight in for those two hours, I've gotten a lot done to where I could have just blew it off, didn't come up, didn't work on the car. So just let that be an encouragement to you. It's ready to be pulled. Everything underneath is disconnected. Everything on top, it literally, the even the transmission is lowered onto a jack stand. So as soon as we can, uh, I'm here by myself, so I'm going to wait to pull it so that'll be in another video. I'm sorry. I know with all that B-roll, you're waiting for it, but it's not smart to pull an engine by yourself. It could be done, but I'd rather just wait that way that there's clarity on the situation. There's two hands, two eyes, um, so or two sets of eyes, <laughs> not, not like this. Um, but as you can see behind me, it's ready to come out. It's ready to go in to its new place, and I am really excited about getting this car refreshed, just being under it, looking under it, um, seeing all the work that I have done in the past with it makes me really excited. Forget how dusty it is right now. It's pretty dusty in the shop, but I'm super excited just to, just to refresh the car, get the inside repainted, fix the dash, things that I haven't done with the car just because of like earlier I said oh well I can't do that because of this 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 so now I'm just taking initiative with what I could ha what I have and making those simple steps so let that be an encouragement to you hope you like this video thank you so much for watching feel free to subscribe for videos working on the cars to lifestyle to uh, riding bikes anything like that this channel is kind of compiled of all the things that I do and we do my wife and family on a daily basis so thank you so much for watching check out these videos that are coming up and hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more appreciate it mm -hmm.